Previously on Drake Paragon. Okay, here's the top of the mask, and here is the jib furler. It is held on by this clevis pin right here. I just think it's amazing that the only thing that needs to fail here is that little cotter pin. If that little cotter pin rusts, breaks, comes apart in any way, and if this clevis pin works its way free, then the whole jib head sail comes down. And under sail, that means the whole mass comes down probably. It all depends on that one little pin there. Holy shit. Look at this, can you see this? The Connor pin came out. Oh my God, that is unbelievable. We're in danger of losing the head stay. It's gotta be fixed immediately. What the hell happened? Before we left St. John's, the pin was there. I did a whole examination of the rig. That's like death right there. Without that, the mask could potentially come down in rough weather. The staysail will hold it up for now, but oh my god. I guess I was meant to come up to the top of the mast on this motor through this fjord. How are you? Fine. Fine? <laughs> A little windy. here somehow the cotter pin failed and then the pin just moved out until tension brought it back down at an angle which kept it in there I guess I can loosen the head stay then I might be able to raise it by hand either that or I could put another halyard maybe through here. Oh god, this kid shouldn't be on that boat. I'm sure if the owner saw that, he'd be pissed. Okay, so 
what's the game plan here? Loosen the turnbuckle at the base of a head stay. Introducing a lot of slack in the head stay. Then we just need to figure out how to raise the stay up by about an eighth of an inch and then pop that pin back in there. How the hell are we gonna do that? Maybe just tie the halyard onto here and put a lot of tension on it. I'd like to go for a walk around this town, but I've got to get this thing fixed first. So, even if I loosen the head stay and the connection at the top of the stay came apart and the head stay got loose, the halyard for the jib would at least keep the thing up. Jeez. I'm just going to pop these hitches on this side so I can angle this one more towards the sun. Get a little bit more amps out of that guy. Okay, so we're gonna loosen the head stay. I've hit the turnbuckle with some PV blaster just to make it a little easier. PV blaster is amazing stuff for loosening up seized bolts. Next step, I'm gonna take these pins out. It looks like I'm just going to have to take these bolts off and remove these so that I can turn the turnbuckle. Uh, I'm sorry, I only speak English. <laughs> Do you speak any English? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. You catch any fish today? Yeah? Today you caught a fish? Oh. Yeah, I want to see you catch a fish. <laughs> Don't lose that. I'm going to have to undo this guy to get this plate out of there so I can get a screwdriver in there to loosen this turnbuckle. Do we not have the correct size Allen wrench? Hi there! How are you? How'd it go? 40 kroners for shower. 50 kroners for a wash. 50 for a dry. So eight bucks for a shower. Ten dollars to wash. And ten dollars to dry. Twenty dollars to do a little wash. Highway robbery. How do people afford it here? They don't dry. Everyone hangs their clothes up. Really? Probably have their own washers too. Yeah. Okay, I removed the bar on the starboard side here. It holds a furler in place so that I can get access to the turnbuckle. I've taken the pins out. And now we loosen. And I've got to somehow hold this in place in business. As you can see, I marked the threads with tape, so when I retighten it, it'll go right back to the tape and should be tuned. Okay, so I've introduced about an inch of slack. Don't want to loosen it too much, else the threads will come out of the end. I think that's about enough.
Alright, it's pretty damn loose. Hey Mo? Yeah? Can you keep an ear out? I may call for you from the top of the mast, okay? All right. When you're done, can you come and check on me? Just as a precaution, I'm going to take this rinky dinky piece of string and whoa, and I'm going to use it to tie the head stay to the top of the mast so it doesn't come down just in case that pen falls out. Just in case all goes wrong and that pin pops out, then this piece of string will at least hold the head stay up. Second thing I'm going to do is take a piece of tape and put it on the other end of the pin right here. So hopefully that will prevent the pin from falling out any further. I can't really get on the other side. Here, hold on. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that pin's almost out. That's bad. Very bad. No. No. This tape is really going to do it. Hey, Anna! Yeah. Could you undo this halyard and send it up to me? The green starboard halyard that we use to raise the dinghy. I don't know about this idea, but I'm going to try. Okay, could you put that on the winch and get tension on it? Yeah, more? Stop! Stop, stop! Okay, let it loose! Let it go! Take the tension off. That didn't work at all. That didn't work. That didn't work. There's just too much tension on there. Anna, yep. port side of the mast, there's a winch that doesn't have a tailor on it. That's the jib halyard. I'm wondering if you could crank that by half an inch or an inch. There's already a lot of tension on it, but maybe if, if you if you put just a little bit more on it. I'll have to slacken it a little bit.
Put the tension on now, okay? Hold it there. Nah, it's still not enough. That's enough? Nah, just clean it, just secure it. Okay, it's cleated. Thank you. I'm gonna send the halyard back down to you. All right, well, here it goes, nothing. We're going to unfurl the jib, take the head stay down. Hope it's not too windy. This sucks. So now we'll take the jib down. Okay. Mo, can you be on the halyard? We're just gonna undo the cleat. Okay. We're on an upwind port tack. When I say go, undo this, the line's flaked there. Yeah. And uh, take it off the winch. Don't let it go, but make sure there's no tension on it. Yeah, no friction. And we're gonna pull down the seat. Oh, All right, pull out the jib. Mo, get ready to undo the. Could you get the tension off the port side jib sheet? I think it's harder to unfurl because I loosened the head stay. All right, get ready on the halyard, Mo. Mo, undo the halyard. Undo the halyard, I'm Mo. Done. You want me to let it down? Yes. All right, got to get the sail I'm going in the water. Wicked. You can cleat the halyard now, Ma. Huzzah! Huzzah! Uh. Oh, shit. One down. I'm thinking if I put some tension on the top with the halyard, then it might give me more slack in the head stay. Yeah. Why don't you get to secure that onto that eye? And then I'll let me think again. Turn three Okay. There's a lot of tension on that, yeah? Yeah. I'd really prefer not to have to disconnect the turnbuckle. I'll go back up and see if anything's different and see if I can get that pin to go back in. I really wish he would tie off up there. We are definitely the entertainment. No joy! <laughs> Still too much tension? Uh, I think it's just too heavy. Okay. Can I have this halyard? The one in your hand? Yeah, I want that up. <laughs> OK, 
Can you winch the other end? Anna? Yeah. And it's starting to winch now, right? Alright. What's that? More! Let it go. Let, let the tension go. Let the tension off now. Let it all off. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't good. We bent the... Thank you! So what next? I'm going to have to physically raise this thing. How the fuck am I going to do that? This really sucks. We're just going to have to undo it. See any other way around it? Because there's no way that with it attached like that, that I can push it up enough to get that pin to go back through that hole. Fuck. All right. So hopefully the tape will hold the pin in. Really not happy with this whole deal. So moral of the story is. Always check your rigging before you go offshore. <sighs> I'm gonna have to disconnect it. These are special pro furl threads. You can't get it at the hardware store. And we don't have spares. All right. This thing's a bitch. Can you do me a big favor and take this away from me? Don't lose the bolt. There we go. There we go. I'm going to disconnect this turnbuckle. Disconnect it entirely from the base here. I should probably take the sail off too. Yeah. I am determined to never get caught in bad weather and have the rig come down. <laughs> if there's anything I can do about it, I will. I just hope when we get it all back together, it's not out of tune. Free. I'm going to start bringing it towards the mast so we can kind of push it up and I'll get the pin in there. I think you're going to get some wind now in a bit, Drake. What? I think you're going to be getting some wind by the look of those clouds. Get this thing done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I'm going to pop the pin and it's going to go free. Push it this way. Just hold it, yeah, hold it in place. Too much. Okay, no shame. Yeah, Drop that bad boy in the water. Three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Here we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Be prepared. Okay. Uh, what do you see? Tension is completely on this now. Yeah. So the stay sail just went slack. That's why. Yeah. I'm gonna go back up there, and when I say you hold this like this, yep. and pull it up, push it up. Okay. Okay. 
Hope that not holds. <laughs> It's very cold. The sun has disappeared and some clouds are rolling in as well as some fog and now it is really cold. Can do it, Drake. Okay, push up. Right. Uh, hold. Fuck. Uh, you want more push? No. Stand by. Stop, okay, rest. Fuck. Left. Okay, loosen, 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 hold on. I need a screwdriver. I need a screwdriver. Can you send me a screwdriver up on this halyard? Yeah. You can let go, Anna. Send me up a screwdriver. Yeah, I just need to get a halyard. Use this one. Yeah, where's the other end of it? Oh, it's here. Ha ha ha. Sorry. Here, let me send the halyard back down to you. Okay. Thanks, Jake. Let me know when you got it. Okay, keep going, keep going. I'm just gonna prop the screwdriver around the halyard. Yeah. Give me two seconds. It's getting windy up here. Okay. Okay, you're good. All right. I'll hoist it up. Thank you. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll turn the power back around here. Thank you. Oh, cool. I got it. Whatever you do, don't be directly underneath me. Just in case one of these tools falls out of my pocket. Okay. You know, I really should be clipped in at this point because I'm using my hands for so many other things besides holding on. Oh, can you lift again? Ready. Push. Lift. Lift. Okay, uh, select just a little bit. All right, hold. Hold it right there. Okay. You can let go, man. I got the pin in. Oh, pin now I need to somehow turn it. Oh, sure hope one of these pins fits. No, don't tell me it's too cold. There's a piece of schmutz stuck in there. Oh, great. I think a little piece of the old pin is stuck in there.
That one in there. Okay, one all the way through. I just need to rotate it. And you can just get the very, very, very tip on the I can't do it, damn it. Alright, no. going in from the top. I wish that pin was a little bit longer. God, the whole rig depends on that pin. Okay, that's that. That's and that's that, that's all she wrote. Okay, we're done! Yep. I sure hope so. That should be okay. Pull it down. Pull it down. There we go. Okay, it's in. Now I'm just going to re-tighten it until the edge of the turnbuckle gets back to the white tape there, which marked where it was when it was tuned. Drake Paragon. 